Okay, so this is the first video of beach body yoga. Ideally, yoga isn't really about achieving the perfect body. It's about achieving this perfect state of mind. However, um, <laughs> I've got perfect body following six kids. But um, it is a good side effect that you'll get a toned, strengthened, supported body. Your posture will be get better. And even that, when your posture is better, your whole body and figure naturally how it carries and um, you, you, your clothes hang better, everything. So there are great side effects to yoga besides unifying breath and movement and mind with um, relaxation and exercise. So um, I'm going to do it in two um, videos because not everybody has the time to spend an hour, an hour and a half practicing yoga. Um, so we'll do these quick bursts. It'll be quite intense, quite full on. Um, uh, I would recommend maybe watching it beforehand, especially if you're not used to um, yoga. So you don't have to keep looking at the video. Um, and yeah, let's just get on with the practice. Okay, we'll just start with a, a warm up with the head. So we're gonna, um, oh, and just one more thing. If you have any injuries in the neck or the back or the hips um, or shoulders that are sharp pain, then I would avoid doing this practice until you've had it checked. If you have aches and pains, then actually this practice might help, but listen to your body. And if you feel you're getting sharp pains, ease back off whatever movement. If you can get yourself a block, that, that will help with some of the postures. And you may need to have, I use a mat rolled up if I need any assistance with things, or a blanket rolled up. That can also help. Um, I won't be explaining in great detail what all of the postures are do because we're going to move through this quite fast paced. Hence, it's a good idea to watch it beforehand. Okay, now we'll warm up. Okay, so bring your head to centre. With the in-breath, we're going to roll the head to the front. With the out-breath, through the nose to the back. So in through the nose at the front. And out at the back. In, out. If you have any pain in your neck, just do half head circles. By the way, in, out, in, out, in. Last time, out. Throughout the practice, we'll be breathing in and out through the nose. I'll cue up breathing, but it's always an in-breath through the nose. Long inhale in and a long inhale out. Okay, we'll warm up the shoulders. We're going to do single shoulder raises. So we're going to, it's quite vigorous. So we're going to breathe in as it comes up and out as it comes down. So in through and out through the nose. Okay, come to centre. We're going to um, do some Sufi grinds to warm up the the um, thoracic spine and the lumbar spine. Start getting a bit of heat into the hips. So we'll start by going around to the right. Sufi grind. It. I, if I pull this tightly, you're bad to see. We're going to circle our bodies. So as we come forward, we arch the back. As we come to the side. We concave the back. So literally using, pushing the ribs to the back, to the abs, to the back. Take it at your own pace. You may need to go really slowly at first to get, but really every single point, feel the movement. So you're warming up the whole thoracic spine, abdomen. And your diaphragm area. Other way. Okay, 
and meet me back in the middle. Okay, we're going to do some cat cow stretches now to further warm up the spine. So hands come into shoulders, knees come into hips, and with our in breath, we're going to raise our head up into a cow stretch, tilt the neck back. That'll um, warm up the thyroid and the parathyroid, which is going to start your metabolism. Kick it off. Breathe out. That's um, cat stretch. Arch the back upwards. Push up with your arms as well. Put even weight with your arms and your legs. In. Out. In breath. Out. Again, take these at your own pace. Just warming up your whole spine. Okay, meet me back in the centre. Okay, we're going to do um, a little bit more toward the shoulders now. So we're going to do thread the needle. So we raise our right arm up to the sky, look up to the fingers, and we're going to thread it beneath the left arm, come down onto your left cheek, uh, right cheek and that left arm stretches forwards and then back it up, push up with that left hand, raise the right hand and then bring it back to the mat, we'll do it on the other side, left arm raises, thread the needle through underneath the right arm Right arm stretches forward, come onto the left cheek and just feel that stretch in the thoracic spine and the twist in the shoulders. Okay, come back up and look up to your left hand and then come back to all fours. Okay. We're going to come up to downward dog now. Um, so I want you to spread your hands wide. So the weight isn't just going through the wrists and the balls of your hands, it's going to go through your whole hand. And we're going to push up onto our toes. Legs, feet are hip width apart. And we're just going to walk out our downward dog. There's no weight in your head. It's a heart opening pose, so melt your heart towards the mat so your shoulders your heart comes through your shoulders so you're not hunched over like this your heart is melting through between your arms and then just walk out your dog bending one knee then the other then come onto your toes and push the hip at your heels over to the right put a stretch down the left hand side and then back to your toes Go over to the left and feel the stretch down the right hand side. Back to centre. And straighten your legs as much as you can, but at this point it's fine if you have a if you have a bend in your legs. And then we're gonna wave forward into plank. So come onto your toes and wave the body forwards into plank. Hold it, and then we're gonna wave it back into the downward dog. Wave forward into plank, wave it back into downward dog, forward into plank, wave it back into downward dog. Last time, wave it forward into plank and we're going to hold it and we're going to bring our left leg, left knee to our left elbow and back and the right knee to the right elbow and back left right left right last time on each side left and right and i want you to come forward now you can either come onto your knees to do this or if you um can do press-ups or you're used to yoga i want you to come forward onto your so tilt forward with your feet and then slowly lower all the way to the floor with your elbows tucked into your side. So we're going to warm up um, a whole back now. I would like you to 
put your arms out to the front in a goal post position and we're going to um, to warm up our um, cervical spine and the top of our thoracics we're going to push our hands forwards with the in breath uh, out breath and then with the in breath come up so Come to stillness and now you can put your head to the mat and we're going to take the feet up off the mat and we're going to take them to the width of the mat bring them in width to the mat bring them in using your thighs and your glutes to push and your quads to keep your feet off the mat so out in out in out in and then we're going to put all that together. So we're going to do our arms back and forth and our legs all at the same time. So raise up and then but keep breathing with it as well. In, out, in, out, in, out, in, out, and then Come up to cobra, shoulder, our hands underneath the shoulders. If there's any positions in this that you would like explaining, put a comment in the um, comments box and I will do a separate video to explain how each um, posture works and, and the benefit of it. So come up to cobra pose, stretch the neck back if you've got comfort in the neck, open up the thyroid gland and then we're gonna push back into downward facing dog. So I'd like you to walk to the front of your mat, fold forwards, and we can take a twist here. So the right hand comes to the centre between your between your feet and left arm lifts and look up to that left hand if you can keep a bend in your knees at this stage or if we're working towards straight but a micro bend is slightly healthier than having them locked out anyway change arms left arm comes to the center of your feet right arm raises look up to the right arm and breathe Hand back to the mat, fold forward again, and then we're going to come into chair position from here. So bend the knees, raise the arms. We don't want any weight in the toes here. Step back a little bit. We don't want any weight in the toes, so you should be able to raise your toes. Bring your hands to heart centre. We can do some more twists. Twisting is really good for detoxifying the body as well as shaping the waist. So we're going to breathe in here. And we're going to breathe out as we touch our right elbow to our left knee and look behind. Back to the centre, breathe in. Other side, right elbow, left knee, uh, left elbow, right knee, look to the back, breathe into the centre. Other side, breathe into the centre. Other side, into the centre. We're going to do balance chair now. So we bring our arms behind us like an aeroplane and we come onto our toes. And we're going to hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Back to chair. Really going to burn out those legs and then forward fold. And halfway lift, which you can do with a block if you wanted to or put your hands on your legs. The idea is a halfway lift, we keep our spines in a nice straight alignment. So halfway lift, and then step back to plank, or jump back to chaturanga if that's in your practice. So we're in our plank, we're gonna hold this plank, and we're gonna do side steps. So left foot comes to the outside of the mat, back in, right foot comes out, and just repeat that, 
right foot, left foot, right foot, keeping your head in alignment with your spine. We're really warming up those abs now. Last time each side, and then we're gonna roll, um, come forward and do chaturanga. Chaturanga is not in your practice, come into your knees and lower down. Okay, so if chaturanga is in your practice, chaturanga, upward dog or cobra, downward dog. Like this, open up those hips. So raise the right leg and open the hip out. Circle the ankle one way and then the other. Really feel that stretch, even weight in your arms. So we're not doing anything funky. And then straighten out the leg, even out your hips. So we're gonna step that foot through between the hands. Let's come into a low lunge. Hold the low lunge. We're gonna do a twist from here. Left hand comes to the mat, right hand, hand twists up. Look up to the right hand. We're gonna hold that, we're gonna do a beautiful stretch in that outer thigh, but also twist into the body, detoxifying and shaping our waist. Hand back to the mat, to the low lunge. Step back to plank. Chaturanga or upward dog. Down the dog, do that on the other side. Left foot raises, open out the hip, even weight in the hands, rotate the foot one way, then the other, just warming up the ankle. Hold that twist, straighten out the leg, square off the hips, step through to the front of the mat, come to the low lunge. Find steadiness. Right hand comes to the mat, left arm lifts. Look up to the left fingers and just hold it and find stillness. Keep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Hands back to the mat. Step back to plank. And this time, come all the way down to the floor. Slowly, 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 with control. And we're going to do another back exercise, which actually works at every muscle group in the body. It's like a master pose. So we're going to reach back for our ankles with our hands, holding on to the outside of the ankles. I'm going to lift everything off the mat and we're gonna just breathe into it. Squeeze your thighs together, open out the shoulders. If you can comfortably tilt the neck back and just breathe. Using everything here in the body to lift us off the mat. release that. We're going to just counteract that with a wide leg child's pose. So toes to touch, knees apart, and then just fold down between the knees. We're just going to stretch out that lower back after that intense compression. Breathe. And then up to all fours. We're going to push back up to our downward dog. Okay, right leg lifts, three-legged dog, step through, feet between the hands, low lunge, take that twist, just for a breath, in breath, and then we're going to come up in the twist. So find your balance and come up to a high lunge, twisted high lunge. Take your time. Just gonna breathe into that, looking back over the back arm. And then windmill the arms round into warrior two. Find stillness in your warrior two. 
bend down into that front knee, keep it tracking over your toes, you want it folding in. Back foot is at 30 degrees in, and the front foot's facing the front of the mat, and the shoulders are open. And then we're going to do just going to hold this again. This is another master pose. Humble warrior. Side angle pose. Side angle pose can look like this with your hand on your knee, your elbow on your knee, or the hand can come down to the mat, or the hand can come down to a block. There's that opening of the hips and the chest. You've got one line of energy going straight up from the back foot into that hand. So it can be this hand on the floor or you can use a block. And then we're going to roll that arm up and come into five pointed star. Which is very easy. So five pointed star. And we're going to come down into a squat, keeping our bodies over our hips. Gazing forwards, five pointed star, come down into that squat, and then we're going to raise our left foot. We're just going to do 10 pulses five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Left foot goes back down, right heel lifts, 10 pulses four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Both heels down, just pulse for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Raise up to five pointed star. Parallel the feet so they're both facing the side of the mat. Come down with a flat back and fold forwards between the legs. Trying to goal is to try and get your head towards the mat with no weight in the head and no force. Hands go between your legs just to give you a little bit more pull. And then we're going to do a nice twist from here. Left hand to the middle of the mat, back between your feet. Raise that right arm and look up to it. All these twists are really, really going to be beneficial in so many different ways. Change arms, right hand to the centre, left arm raises, look up to the left hand, twist that body, back to centre. I'm just going to hold that halfway lift, using the abs, and then we'll come to a side lunge at the front of the mat. Um, left foot is turned up, hands to heart centre if you can, find the balance. If not, you can keep your hands up the floor, that's fine. And then we're going to lunge to the back. If you can do it without your hands and just use the strength in your legs, it's a really, really good pose. If not, keep your hands down and use that for support. And just work up to doing it without, without your hands. So we're going to side lunge then to the back of the mat. That foot turns up. And then we're going to lunge to the front of the mat. Come back into that low lunge. Three legged dog and then back into downward dog. Just take a breath here in through the nose, out through the nose, and another one in breath through the nose and then out through the nose. And we're going to do it on the other side. So raise that left leg up, step through between the hands. Find that low lunge. Right hand comes to the mat, and left arm twists up for a breath. And then we're going to raise that up to a twisted high lunge. Gazing over the back shoulder, those fingers, feeling the strength in the legs and the twist in the body. And then spin those arms around to 
one of the two. Front foot facing the front of the mat, back one in at 30. Shoulders open, gaze over those front fingers. Again, this is a great pose just to hold even weight through the both feet so the front leg isn't doing all the work. Knitting in the ribs and pulling up in the spine for support. Humble warrior. And then that side angle pose. So again, the arm can come to the knee, uh, the elbow can come to the knee, and the arm comes over and you gaze up. Or you can come, if you've got flexibility, hand comes to the floor. Obviously, these are all, some days will be different. Some days you'll have the flexibility, some days you won't. Some days you'll be achy and you don't feel like doing it. And then just then listen to yourself. Don't judge yourself from where you are, one particular day compared to another. Hold that side angle. And then we spin up to five pointed star. Down to squat, hands between the, like the sternum in prayer, five pointed star, down to the squat, and this time we're going to do small pulses with the knees outwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, five pointed star. And then come down, feet parallel to the front of the mat, fold down, forward fold between the legs. And then we're going to do a slightly more intense twist. So instead of having the hand in the centre of the mat, we're going to take the right hand to the left foot, if possible, or it could be the, the left thigh, or wherever you can reach. And then we're going to twist up with the left arm. Change sides, left arm to right foot, twist up with the right arm, gaze up at those right fingers. Back to centre, hold it halfway lift with the core. And then we're going to lunge again to the front of the mat, side lunge to the front of the mat. Hands up if you can. Side lunge to the back of the mat. Bring it back to a lunge at the front. Back to plank. Come forward, Chaturanga. Get some practice. Upward dog. Downward dog. Now, just widen your hands a little bit. Jump through to seated between your hands and we're going to do some work on the glutes and the abs. Okay, so for those glutes, the best, one of the great best things we can do is um, bridge pose and we're going to do a few variations within it. It's really going to probably burn out um, the glute area. So you should really feel it. Okay, so roll onto your back. Have your feet close enough so you can touch them with your hands. You don't have to hold onto your ankles or anything. But um, about hips width apart and then push up into bridge. You can also turn, make this into a um, heart opener and a shoulder stretch. If you link your hands beneath your back and then roll onto your shoulders. And from here, we're just going to raise up and down for 10. One, two, squeezing your thighs together. Three, four, five. Using your glutes and your back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then come onto your toes. And we're going to do the same. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then we're going to go onto your heels. 
we do the same our heels so raise them down on your heels for 10 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and then we're going to go down and then roll it up so without bringing your feet down we're going to come into boat pose boat pose you can hold the backs of your legs if you need the support as long as you're doing the work you're feeling the work in your abs that's fine and not put hunching up if you can bring them your arms straight ahead and your legs straight ahead and we're going to do high boat this is this position to low boat low boat is head off the floor feet about 10 inches off the floor and then high boat low boat so we're using our abs to take us from high to low. High, low, high. Now hold the high. We're going to try and straighten our legs for five, four, three, two, one. Don't <laughs> drop them down yet. Bring your hands to Ara Mudra and we're going to put the look to the left. And the right and the left working our obliques and the left right and the left and the right and the left right left right you should really feel that burning now right left side each of each and then hold your boat for five four three two one amazing Right, I'm just going to do some stretches now and then we're going to have a shavasana, which we've earned. So, left leg straight along the mat, right leg comes into the thigh. Now, if you have a flexibility, you can bring the right foot into a half lotus position. If you don't, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so... From here, we're going to make sure this foot, foot is working by the knee pointing up and the um, toes pointing up, and that way your calf's going to get a good stretch as well as your hamstring. We're going to take a deep breath in, raise the arms, and then we're going to fold. The point is to get your stomach towards your thigh, not your head to your knee. So wherever that is for you, it could be here, as long as you're doing the work and you can feel the work down your hamstring. And then just breathe into that. Anywhere you're feeling sensations or aches, imagine that you're sending your breath and oxygenated blood to that area. And come up, we'll do a twist from here. So left hand to right knee, and then just twist over the back. If you can bind the foot, then all the better. If not, the hand's fine at the back. And then change legs. Again, it's fine just to have the foot here. If you take it into half lotus, that's great. If not, just keep it there. And again, raise the arms up for an in-breath. With the out-breath, fold forwards, trying to get the tummy onto the thigh. Hold on wherever you can, it doesn't have to be the foot. And then breathe. Again, breathe into the sensations. Any discomfort that isn't sharp or painy, um, or stabby, then just breathe into the aches. Good, good sensation. Come back up. We'll do that twist again. So if you can take the bind, the um, hand to that foot, that's great. If not, hand behind you, that's fine. There's not too much weight in it. Breathe in and, and uh, raise up. With the out breath, you can take the twist a little bit more. Come back to centre. Bring your feet into butterfly pose. You can hold on to your feet or your ankles. Sit up straight in your sitting bones. And with your elbows, push those knees open a little bit more. Sit up straight. And 
then we're going to bring the knees together, roll back onto your back, knees at 90, hands at goal post or T position and with our in breath we're going to have our knees at 90 and then with the out breath we're going to take them to near the floor keeping the left shoulder on the, on the mat and the right knees towards the floor and then in breath other side left side don't actually put them down we're just going to challenge our abs by going from right to left on this side and we will go all the way to the floor with those knees you can use your hands give you a little bit more and then look over your left shoulder keeping the left shoulder on the mat at all times so you really feel the benefit of this twist bring them both back to center Go to the side, knees to the left, gaze to the right, shoulder down on the mat, right shoulder down on the mat, and breathe into it. Bring them back to centre, last squeeze of the knees, bring your head, nose between your knees, and then release down into Shavasana. So your feet flop out, hands facing upwards, close down the eyes, just gentle in-breaths and out-breaths through the nose. You feel the work in your body. If you've got time to stay here for five, ten minutes, that's brilliant. If you don't, start to wiggle your hands and your fingers. I would recommend that you stay for a little bit longer and integrate the work. Roll onto your right hand side, if you're going to come up with me. Push up with your hands, come into cross-legged pose. Hands at heart centre, the sternum, take a big, big breath in through the nose. Sight out through the mouth. In again. Sight out through the mouth. Thank you for practising with me. Namaste.